So for those of you that know me and have watched the show for a while, then you probably know about the fact that I am a gigantic video game nerd. And since this show is about politics, I really don't get the opportunity to talk about video games too often. However, I was presented with a very unique opportunity this week when the world of politics and video games converged. So, uh, let's talk about video games for a little bit. So, as you all know, on October 27th, there's a game coming out by Bethesda called Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. Now, this is a follow-up to 2014's Wolfenstein The New Order. Now, The New Colossus takes place in America in 1961, and in this alternate version of history, the Nazis actually won World War II, and they took over America. So, the goal in... Wolfenstein the New Colossus is to liberate America from the Nazis in order to spark the second American Revolution. Now in order to promote the video game, the game's official Twitter account tweeted out a new trailer accompanied by the words, Make America Nazi Free Again. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag no more Nazis. Now I'll tell you the response, but first here's the trailer for their game. So the trailer was pretty short that they tweeted out, but I mean, it gives you a look at the game's overall premise, but since the trailer was accompanied by the words, Make America Nazi Free Again, which is obviously a play on Donald Trump's Make America Great Again slogan, well, of course, this triggered Trump flakes on the alt-right, who took to Twitter to voice how offended they were that this game dared to use Donald Trump's slogan. So we had Fifty Shades of Pomo state, oh wow, what a clever marketing trick. So current, so subtly political, wow, go fuck yourselves. And Rick adds, way to make it political, not buying. Rick, this game is inherently political, it's about Nazis. Levi chimes in, <laughs> this is probably my favorite, saying, cool, didn't know Bethesda, <laughs> didn't know Beth Bethesda teamed up with SJWs and Antifa. The, the, <laughs> the fucking game is about Nazis. It's, it, it's about, it's about defeating Nazis. Of course, they're anti-fascist, but to suggest that Bethesda teamed up with, <laughs> with SJW. <laughs> I can't even dignify that with a response. It's just so idiotic. Uh, I mean, and, and do you not see the irony? You're denouncing SJWs when you're acting just like a triggered little snowflake SJW yourself, dipshit. Now we also have Jeremy State. It's just that there's more Black Power Panther racists in America than Nazis. Mm, not exactly. Alex states, I just like how you phrase this. You guys might want to make a statement that you guys don't hate Trump or freedom. Yes, because Donald Trump and freedom are inextricably linked. If you hate Donald Trump, then of course you hate freedom as well. Yeah, I mean, the outrage police, they're at it again, but as usual, it's on the right and not so much on the left. So, look, and what they're angry about, really, is the use of the make, you know, America Nazi free again. But I'm sorry, Donald Trump won the election. He's the president of the United States, and the Make America Great Again slogan has become a part of U.S. pop culture, which is why, you know, when I go to weed shops... In Oregon, I see them selling hats that look like the Donald Trump campaign hats, but they say make America dank again and they have a pot leaf. I mean, it's part of American culture. You have to deal with that. Donald Trump won. You got what you wanted, right? So this term is everywhere. And to use that term, it doesn't automatically mean that they're comparing Trump to Nazis. But if they were, then this would be Donald Trump's own goddamn fault. Because if you'll remember correctly, just a couple of months ago... It was Donald Trump that refused to condemn neo-Nazis that marched in Charlottesville, and he even defended them. So when the president literally defends and sympathizes with white supremacists and neo-Nazis, you don't get to be triggered by shit like this. Donald Trump brought it upon himself. This was the doing of Donald Trump. This is a game about a Nazi takeover in the United States. And pro-Nazi, pro-white supremacist rhetoric is a problem in this country. So the social media managers of this game in trying to tie it to relevant political themes of our time, they're not being insensitive to Donald Trump supporters. They're just clever at marketing. And guess what? It worked. We're all talking about Wolfenstein, the new Colossus. So look, to... <laughs> 
to end here, I couldn't pass up an opportunity to one, not only talk about video games, but also um, make fun of triggered right-wing social injustice warriors. I mean, these are two things that I love doing, and certainly, and if I could do both in the same video, then hell yeah, I'm going to jump on that opportunity. But we're going to go ahead and end right there because... I gotta go and play the first Wolfenstein before the new one comes out because it looks looks pretty cool. Support this podcast by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash humanist report.